Hi everyone, this is Dave, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the QNAP TVS 882T. I've had this for a couple of weeks, and this device is gonna blow your mind away because it performs well enough for a 4K video editing workflow, and also, you can connect it to your network so you can actually access all of your files on multiple computers. So before I go through how this has been fitting into my workflow and also the performance, if you're new to the Geek & Noise channel, please do subscribe. I produce a new tech video pretty much every single day and also do a few different videos thrown in for good measure, something that will entertain pretty much anyone. So subscribe to the channel and also, if you like what you see, please do hit that like button. So back to the QNAP TVS 882T. This could be termed as a network attached storage device or a NAS. You can load it up with up to six three and a half inch serial ATA drives, two two and a half inch solid state drives. And there's also two internal slots where you can put an M2 SATA SSD drive in there as well. So plenty of options for adding different types of storage and also plenty of different connection options. Not only can you connect this to your network so you can actually access the files on multiple different devices, we could even stream the files to a TV, but you can also directly connect it to your computer via Thunderbolt 2 and it gives you fast connection, in fact a fast enough connection to edit 4K video directly on the device itself. So let me tell you a little bit about this specific device and some of the specifications. So this is the TVS 882T. Inside this particular one, there's an Intel Core i5-6500 3.6 gigahertz quad core processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, which can be expanded up to 64 gigabytes. There's also those two M2 SSD SATA slots I mentioned, plus, You've got the two two and a half inch solid state drives, which I'm using for 4K video editing. And then we've also got the six three and a half inch drive bays as well, which you can load up with three and a half inch SATA hard drives. Now in this particular configuration, I've loaded this up with four six terabyte drives. I've got those in a RAID 5 configuration. And you can see on your screen how they're performing now. Now the first performance test you're seeing is with me connecting to this via the network. So as expected, the read and write speeds aren't fantastic. They're more than acceptable, but you're only gonna be using this sort of connection either to backup files or to access files, not for any sort of serious editing. And then the second speed test you're seeing on your screen now, this was actually me connecting to the three and a half inch hard drives, but via the direct connection. So the direct attached storage Thunderbolt 2 connection. And you can see the read and write speeds absolutely fantastic using this type of connection. Even this is good enough to actually do 4K video editing onto. My primary use for the three and a half inch drives are for backup. I put in two Toshiba two and a half inch solid state drives uh, into the two two and a half inch bays. And you can see the results on your screen now, and this thing flies. These are the disk speed test read and write speeds for the two and a half inch solid state drives whilst connecting over that Thunderbolt 2 cable. And wow, I am so, so impressed. Now, just to backtrack a little bit, the three and a half inch bays, you can use uh, a mix of different capacitors if you want to, but I went for some Toshiba X300 three and a half inch SATA drives, and I used all the same capacity. So I've just got the first four bays filled up, and then I can expand that storage at a later stage and fill up bays five and six if I so wish. How's this been fitting into my workflow? Well, I've been using the two and a half inch solid state drives for doing video editing with Final Cut Pro, 4K video, 100 megabit per second bit rate, no drop frames at all. It's been working absolutely fantastically. And then I've been backing up my work from the two and a half inch uh, solid state drives onto the three and a half inch RAID 5 configuration. And I do that at the end of every day and it's been fine for that. I've also been using those three and a half inch RAID 5 array to actually serve up media. So both video over the network and audio and it's worked flawlessly. The system has got some voice prompts whilst it's starting up and shutting down and configuring, which are quite loud. It also beeps a lot. You can turn this off in the sort of setup, but for the most part, I've been just so happy with it. It is quite loud because you've got all of those drives spinning and the fans spinning. You might not want it in the room where you're actually gonna be recording video perhaps, but for the work environment, I've got it in my editing room. It's not very distracting at all. 
It works fine. I've got it set to a power schedule where it starts up every day at 7 a.m., closes down every day at 10 p.m. That not only means that it's ready for me to use when I need to get access to the files, but it also means it conserves energy when I'm not actually using the device itself. So that's it for this video. If you're looking for something that performs really well and is really flexible, I can highly recommend the QNAP TVS A82T. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe and I'll see you again soon in another video.